Hello dear friends, welcome to Surendra Aptitude and Reasoning classes. So today I will say the introduction for the logical reasoning. If you say in logical reasoning, number series, letter series, and analogy, and some questions from coding and decoding are very important in many competitive exams. So today in this session, we will see the common introduction part, especially how to remember the positions of the letters in the alphabet and the opposite pairs. I will let you know what is the meaning of opposite pair and the reverse ranking. So many of the number series questions and the letter series question and some coding and decoding questions can be framed by keeping in perspective of the letters and their positions and their reverse ranking. So in this session, we will see how to remember the positions of letters in both forward direction and the reverse direction and the opposite pairs. Opposite pairs means, I am writing here, opposite pairs. So if you count the alphabet from A to Z, A is the first letter. If you count the letters from Z to A, Z is first letter. So here first A, Z last, they forms opposite pair. Similarly B is the second letter, Y is the second letter, B Y opposite pair. C is the third letter from the beginning and X is the third letter from the end, CX forms a pair. So likewise, we will call them as opposite pairs. So these are the logics for our convenience. These are not the pure logics which have a definite uh, perspective. But here uh, I am dictating, I am telling, uh, we are discussing some logics which are for our convenience. Now, for our convenience, I am dividing the alphabet set into two equal parts. The first set is from A, uh, A to M, I mean from 1 to 30 and the second set is from N to Z that is from 14 to 26 letters. So what is the first half of the alphabet? The first half of the alphabet is from A to M that is from 1 to 30. The second half of alphabet is from N to Z which is from 14 to 26. So what I mean to say is, if you can remember in this way, you can remember the positions of M and L. Because in the first set, M is ending with M, so 13. So the position of M is 13. The position of N, which is the second half of alphabet, which is beginning from 14. So you can simply remember the positions of A, B, C, D. 1, 2, 3, 4, no? You can simply remember the positions of A, B, C, D, those are 1, 2, 3, 4. Z is anyhow the last letter, which is 26th letter. Now, if you can remember some film name, Jyot Lakshmi, or a name, uh, we will call it as a, a meaningless word, Ajoti. If you can remember this word Ajoti, all these are 5 multiples. All these are 5 multiples. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Or you can easily remember T20 cricket matches. T20, T stands for 20. So the position of T is 20. You can remember cricket matches, no? T20 cricket matches. So T stands for 20. And the rest you can remember as 5 multiples. E is 5. J is 10. O is 15. Y is 25th letter. Now, how to remember the position of F? If you see F, it seems like this now. If you join these two lines like this, it forms the digit 6 now. So the position of F is 6. Now, from now onwards, if you carefully observe some letters, they actually resemble their positions. But somehow, we should look at the digits, sorry, the letters. If you see the letter G, is it resembles 7? It clearly shows 7. So the position of G is 7. Now similarly, if you see Q, shall we write like this? Q. In this also, you have a 7. But already 7 is given. The next number which is having 7 as one of the digits is 17. So Q is 17. Next. If you see the position of H, now close top and bottom, 
it clearly shows 8 now. So, the position of H is 8. Now, let us see R. Just to close the bottom, it again replicates 8 now. It again replicates 8. Already 8 is given to H. Now, another number which is having 8 as one of the digits is 18. So, the position of R is 18. Next, guys, try to remember one phrase. The phrase is I9 U21. So, when I say I, it should be like 9. I9 U21. So, remember it as a phrase. I9 U21. So, the position of I is 9. The position of U is 21. If you see the position of M, shall we observe 3? So, M has to have 3 as one of its digit. So, that's why M is 30. Now, similarly, check to 30 or uh, W. W also resembles a 3 now. 3 are the given to C. 3 or one of the digits is 30. So, what is the next number which is having 3 as one of its digits? Which is 23. So, the position of W is 23. Now, if you see the finger, this fingers, Victor symbol is there now. So, in Victor symbol, how many fingers are there? One finger, two finger. Two fingers are there, right? So, in the letter V, the digit 2 has to appear. Only 2 has to appear. 2, 2. Now, the letter X now. If you see X, in S, you have two big cross sections, I mean two lines, two. And then you have two, four small lines, one, two, three, four. Four small lines. So the position of X is 24. The next one is K. Can you remember Kings 11 Punjab team? IPL teams you can remember. You can remember IPL teams. In this IPL team, Kings 11 is one of the team now. Kings 11. Kings K 11 11. So Kings 11 K 11. Now if you see the letter L, if I make like this, it seems to be 2 now. Or also I can write L as like this 2. It cannot be 2. The next number having the 2 as one of the digit is 12. So L is 12. The next one is very funny guys. That is uh, P and S combination. I hope everybody know the film actress Sri Devi. I hope everybody know the film actress, the heroine, the heroine Sri Devi. Now how can you remember the position of P and S is when Sri Devi age is 19 years, she did a Telugu film Padahari Lavaisu. When Sri Devi age is 19 years, she did a Telugu film Padahari Lavaisu. Sri Devi, yes. What is the age of Sri Devi? 19. The first letter of Sri Devi word is yes, a 19 age. Padaharu Lavaisu. Padaharu P. P stands for 16. And in Telugu, Padaharu means 16. P 16. So I hope every letter is done. So this is the way of remembering the positions of alphabets. Next we will see how to remember opposite bits. Let us see now. So, I am erasing this. Now, let us see opposite pens. So, as we already discussed opposite payments, first and last, first and last like it. Now, this is very funny guys and you can easily remember. So, these are the logics for our convenience, don't take uh, otherwise. If you can remember the word love, you can remember two pairs. One is elbow, other one is VE. So, you can check here. Elbow forms a pair, VE forms a pair. Hope you guys are understanding now. If you can remember IRCTC website, IRCTC.com. I hope everybody know the railway ticket reservation which is done by using the website IRCTC.com. Or also you can remember infrared rays, IR rays. In chemistry or physics, you can have this word term infrared rays, IR rays, IR forms a pair. 
I hope you can easily remember PK film done by Amir Khan or Telugu hero Pawan Kalyan PK or uh, you can remember the area name in Hyderabad Kukatpalli or Kiran Pollard KP Kiran Pollard one of the international cricket player Kiran Pollard so PK forms a pair PK or KP KP, Kiran Pollard, PK, Pawan Kalyan or Amir Khan film, PK. Next. Hope you can remember the playing cards. In playing cards, King, Queen, Jock, Oz and the number cards. So you can easily remember Jock and Queen. These are two set of cards in a 52 card set. Jock and Queen. Now, I hope you guys know the game GTA game GTA game so by using the first two letters by remembering the first two letters you can remember this GT next I hope you know the international cricket player David Warner David Warner DW the first two letters of David and Warner W so David Warner forms a pair. Simply you can remember the first and last letters in alphabet which is AX. Now, can you remember high school guys? Everybody will finish their high school in you know, high school. H, H, high, yes, school, high school. And also you can remember uh, one more film name which is very familiar in Bollywood. Head story. Head, H, story, yes. So, HS form a pair. Now, if you can remember for you, for, for, F, U, U, for you. So, for you forms a pair. If you can remember two words, copy and Xerox, which are very famous and we will use regularly these terms. Copy and Xerox. Copy, first word is C. In Xerox, first letter is X. So, CX form a pair. If you can remember the word man, man, the first and last, last letters of the word man, it forms a pair, MN. And last but not least, if you can remember the word, direct word, by, it's English word, no, by, by forms a pair. Hope you guys understood the opposite phrase. Now, now we'll see the reverse landing. So once again, go through guys, uh, whatever we discussed so far. I am erasing this. So we have given uh, the ranking for uh, let us in English alphabet in forward direction. What if, if I give the ranking in reverse direction? Forward ranking and the reverse ranking. Ranking is nothing but giving positions for alphabet guys. Now, let's uh, first let us uh, see some basics. Z is the first letter from the ending, no? First letter. Y is the second letter. If we write 27 minus 1, which is 26, which is the position of Z. Let us take one more. 27 minus 2, which is 25, this is the position of Y. So, what is observation? To get the reverse rank, we can generalize this as 27 minus forward ranking will be the reverse ranking. So if you want to find out the position of I in the reverse ranking, 27 minus 9 you can do. Instead of counting the letters from the end, simply you can take 29, sorry 27 minus the original ranking is 19 which is 18. So if you can count which will be 18 from the end. So, this is the way, how can you remember the positions of letters in alphabet, opposite ranking, opposite page, and finally, yeah. So, these are the things. These concepts we can use to work out the questions from number series, letter series, coding and decoding. So, in my next video about the logical reasoning, you can see how to apply these concepts. So, hope you guys enjoyed the session. Please subscribe to my session, to my YouTube channel 
सुरेंद्र रेड्डी ए वि सुरेंद्र रेड्डी ए वि पर मोस्ट अच्छे वीडियोस थैंक यू हैव नाइस डे